Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here with a review video on a foundation and you guys already read the title. It is on the L'Oreal True Match. No, start over. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So I'm here with a review video for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in again. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day. I'm so excited for this review because you guys don't know how long I've been waiting to get my hands on this foundation because I'm in Canada and everything takes forever to launch, okay? So this is the new L'Oreal foundation. This is the Infallible Pro Glow. I do own the Pro Matte foundation, which I did a full review on and I absolutely loved it. I will link it if you guys wanna check it out. So when I heard that they were coming out with a Pro Glow, I really wanted to get my hands on it. Took forever to launch in Canada, but now it is available at Walmart and I think Shoppers Drug Mart. I purchased mine at Walmart, okay? The one in Train Yards, for those of you who are in Ottawa. They have quite a few selections of shades, which I was surprised about, and I was able to get this one that is 210 Classic tan so as always thank you so much for joining me again today don't forget to hit that subscribe button before we go on to this review video and um comment down below before you leave so let's do this so like i said this is a review on the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation this i believe has been out for about a month or so from my understanding and it just recently launched in canada this month sometime this month it launched in canada i found mine at walmart for 16.95 i got mine like i said in classic tan 210 and it is a tiny 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 bit dark for me I should have got the shade up from that one but I thought it was going to be a little too light but I can make it work it's what I have on right now with my concealer and everything it really doesn't look too dark it's when I initially put it on and look at my chest area and my face it does look a little bit more tanned this range and the pro matte range are not exactly the same in terms of the names and the numbers so don't just go out and get the one that you are wearing in the pro matte because they are off they're not the same okay these run a little bit darker in my opinion than the pro matte foundation the packaging let's talk about the packaging it is very similar to the original pro matte foundation but this one you see a lot more product it's a lot more transparent which i ain't mad at i really do like the fact that i can really see the um color of the foundation i do love the touch of blue that they put into it it's just a little bit more eye catching and they still remained with the chart in the background telling you the finish how long it wears, the coverage and the texture and how to use the product. The texture of this foundation, it is a lot different than the Pro Matte Foundation. I will put a side by side comparison for you guys. The Pro Matte Foundation is a little bit more thicker and more creamier. This is a lot more liquidy and slippery and um, a lot more dewy for sure. It's a little bit more hydrating also, and it runs down the arm very fast compared to the Pro Matte Foundation. So they are totally different in textures. The way I like to apply this foundation is definitely with my Beauty Blender. I this time didn't dot it on my face. I really just squeezed some of it out on the back of my hand just to show you guys the consistency and as you guys can see it does run down the arm pretty fast so you want to be careful with that and it is quite liquidy when you shake up the bottle okay and then i like to just dab my beauty blender onto the product and go ahead and blend away all over the face and this just blends so fast so beautifully it really just meshes with your skin and becomes one and doesn't look cakey, thick, or anything like that. It looks very skin-like. I am so happy to let you guys know that. It doesn't give you an overly dewy finish where you look greasy. It looks very healthy and it does have a glow but not overly dewy or anything like that but you do see a visible glow on your face and i think it just looks absolutely beautiful i don't feel it on the skin at all you can't really detect it on my skin unless i go in with a little bit of a powder or whatever then you'll be able to see that foundation but if i was just to go with this foundation little concealer 
you wouldn't even be able to detect this on my skin because it just blends so well with the skin. No streaks, no nothing. It's just very air-like and skin-like, okay? This foundation does wear pretty long in my opinion. I've used it with a primer and without a primer and I can wear this pretty much all day and it's going to hold up really well, especially when it's super hot. I don't feel like it's melting off of my face. It actually just stays put and sets so beautifully. Now you will have to blot throughout the day, especially if you are in the heat. It will get a little bit shiny in the T-zone area, but it will stay in place no matter what. I think once again, L'Oreal has hit it out of the park with this foundation, just like they did with the Pro Matte. They did an amazing job formulating the Pro Glow because it really does look absolutely gorgeous on the skin. Honestly, it really, really reminds me of the, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. That is, yeah, that's the one that really, it's, I feel like it's a dupe. I want to definitely do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys because... It's pretty close. The texture, the finish, the way it feels but this one's gonna last you a little longer. So if you guys wanna see a side-by-side -side comparison of the jo of the L'Oreal Pro Glow and the Armani Luminous Silk, let me know. I think that would be an amazing video. Comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and let me know if you guys wanna see that. So guys, that is it for this review. I hope it was informative and helpful. Um, I really don't have anything negative to say about this foundation. It's absolutely beautiful and it's definitely gonna be my summer foundation. I do really love my Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation, but I feel like this one just like, it's not as dewy. The, jo the Josie Moran is very, very dewy. This is just enough. Like it is just enough glow that it still allows your skin to look natural. As always, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below again, like I said. And all of my social medias are down below. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. So I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao.